sh bin script. Oh, the mighty Zoltan is all powerful. My longer do as video is heavy on theory and lighter in the hands-on department. So this video is going to be a run through of some do as examples in the terminal. All right, for the first one, let's see how we can test out a do as configuration file. So right now I've got the default one, the uh, permit no pass wheel that I normally use, but I want to use this do as examples.com file. So how can we do that? So we'll say, do as dash c to pass it the configuration file you want and that configuration file actually lives in home freeman do as examples dot conf and what do we want to pass it so let's test out the um the ted u f stat args i'm already in as ted u right now so what would happen if ted u wants to f stat deny so he would be denied as root. So he's trying, so Teju, right now I am Teju. Right now I am Teju. So Teju is trying to run fstat as root and it has denied him. So that's awesome. So now let's run the same thing, but give it the dash u Teju. So this means that Ted's gonna have to run it with dash u Teju as himself. Uh, and that should permit no pass. Awesome. So now you know how to test out a do as configuration file. So let's pretend that we've tested all our examples and it feels good enough. So let's go ahead and just uh, switch over to the real one and see what happens. So do as cp uh, do as examples.conf. And I want to copy that to etsy do as.conf. Okay, cool. All right, now that we're in here, let's go ahead and actually see if TedU can run fstat. So do as su TedU. And let's see. Put in my password. fstat. Okay, he can run fstat. Now let's see if he can run fstat as root. So do as fstat. Not permitted. All right, so do as fstat dash u ted u okay so ted u successfully or unsuccessfully can't run fstat as root perfect let's try out the aja one so aja wants to add packages aja should be able to add packages and he should be able to keep his package path and his package cache environment variables so aja shouldn't be able to add any packages without using do as, because you need to be root to add packages. So let's try out package add calcurse, which is just a, a, uh, a calendar utility. So you can see package add must be run as root. Okay, let's give him a package path. Say he's in like France or something, because it seems like there's a lot of OpenBSD users in France. Not sure why. But let's say he's in France, and that's going to be the closest mirror to him, uh, either the data center he's in or at home or whatever. So we'll let him use that one, and we'll let him use it as root and add packages. All right, let's see if Aja can add a package. Do as package add, and let's say he wants to add Neomut. Put in his password. Pick one, go three. Okay, so Aja can add a package. I don't know whether or not it respected his package path, but the important thing is he can add a package. All right, now let's see what's up with Zoltan. So do as su Zoltan. Who am I? I am Zoltan. Awesome. So it says Zoltan permit Zoltan to run Etsy net start. 
uh, permit him to run as anything DB admin can, and deny him the command reboot. So let's start out with uh, Etsy net start. So Etsy net start is a command that you are only supposed to be able to run as root. It's a, a script you're only supposed to be able to run as root. So let's try that out. Need root privileges, as we suspected. So let's try it with a little bit of doaz on it. Doaz sh etsy net start. And then he's going to need his password. Bam! Very cool. So we permitted Zoltan to run Etsy net start. In Duaz Mastery, Teju said that while Zoltan could run Etsy net start uh, with sh, he couldn't run other scripts from, say, home bin. I have a script that I put in Zoltan's home directory, and we don't want him running it as root. So let's see if that works. So remember, he can run sh and pass it Etsy net start. And he can do that as root. Let's see if he can run a script from his home directory as root. So do as sh and then should be home script. Operation not permitted. Perfect. So he can run scripts as himself that he has for himself, but they'll only run as his user and he can't run any scripts other than Etsy net start as root. Just for fun, let's run through the scenario where you gave Zoltan permit no pass as root to run any command, which is what people normally put in their duas.com for their sudo configuration. Now you've got a couple other configuration lines in there, but you've already said permit no pass Zoltan. So let's see what happens with the whole script thing. So since we've changed our duas configuration file, we'll have to copy it over to etsyduas.conf again. So duas cp duas-examples.conf to etsyduas.conf. Very good. Plus etsyduas.conf. Okay, it's in there. Now let's switch to Zoltan. Do as su Zoltan. Who am I? I am Zoltan. Okay. So now I'm in Zoltan's home directory, and he has a script in there that he wants to use, and he wants to run on your system, but he needs root privileges to actually run this script. Thankfully, you've given him permit no pass Zoltan, so he should be able to run it. Let's see. Sh bin script. Oh, the mighty Zoltan is all powerful. And that, friends, is an example of why you don't want to permit no pass all your users. Next, let's check out the reboot one. So it looks like Zoltan gets a little too trigger happy with reboot, so we denied him completely the ability to run reboot. Now that doesn't deny him the ability to change uh, doas.conf or something if he's in the wheel group or something like that, but it is a good way to stop him from running it willy-nilly. So let's try that out. So reboot is a command that you should only be able to run as root. Reboot. Operation not permitted. Cool. Don't have the perms. All right. So what if we say do as reboot? Do as operation not permitted. So it says right there, do as says no. All right. So we got this example here that says Zoltan can do anything as DB admin. Now, ostensibly, this would mean that Zoltan can run any database administration scripts that DB admin can run. And if DB admin has any other cool privileges, he can access those as well. I don't have any cool examples for this. I am interested though to see what happens if we add DB admin to the operator group since we've explicitly denied Zoltan the reboot command earlier. Do as works on a last match basis. So will the last rule there win or will the explicit deny win? Let's find out. Who am I? I am DB admin. Cool. So right now, if I try and reboot, you need root permissions, so that should be denied. Right now, let's see what happens if I try and reboot with do as. I don't really feel like rebooting this machine in real life, so I'm just going to use the uh, config test command there to see what would happen. So let's see. Uh, reboot. Do as reboot there. Deny. Cool. So let's add him to the operator group and see what happens. All right, do 
as user mod dash g. I want to add them to the operator group. I want to add db admin. So that should have added him. Groups db admin. Yeah, he's in there. Cool. All right, so let's now do as su to db admin again. Probably could have just done the config test as user db admin, but whatever. So who am I right now? I am db admin. Let's see. So do as dash c at c do as dot conf. We're gonna try and reboot. Ah, permit no pass. Okay. So that's what we expected. So he is now in the operator group, so he can now reboot the machine. What about Zoltan? If Zoltan can run anything as DB admin, can he reboot the machine too? Do those group properties apply to Zoltan now? Let's find out. So who am I? DB admin. Do as SU to Zoltan. Who am I? I am Zoltan. All right, so do as dash C. Let's see. Well, let's first see if he can reboot. So, reboot. Operation not permitted. Now, do as, reboot. Operation not permitted, but from do as this time. All right, so do as, dash C, let's see. Do as type conf, and we're going to do this. Yeah, just going to reboot with do as. Oh, we already did the reboot with do as. So, dash U as DB admin. Oh. I should probably put the command in there. Reboot. Deny. So I didn't expect that, to be honest. I kind of expected him to be able to reboot the machine because DB admin can. But good to know. Um, the last match works, but it doesn't change, I guess, the group that he's in or something like that. But Zoltan cannot reboot the machine, which is what we want. We want to lock down this Zoltan guy very much because there's like four rules on him. All right, so now what happens if we add Zoltan to the operator group? Does the explicit deny that we have in there for him win or does the operator command reboot one at the end there win? Let's find out. Who am I? I am Freeman. Do as user mod dash G. And I want to add him to operator. And I want to give it to Zoltan. So groups, Zoltan. Okay, moment of truth. So do as SU to Zoltan. Okay, so Zoltan. So let's try reboot. Operation not permitted. Do as dash C. Let's see, do as dot conf. Reboot. Oh, permit no pass. Okay. So do not mess this up and say and explicitly deny Zoltan or whoever your Zoltan is and then explicitly allow the group later down down the road there because it is last match. So that last match wins. Keep that in mind. The last example I wanted to run through was this permit persist wheel and permit wheel command reboot. Theoretically, that first one means that anyone in the wheel group should be able to run any command uh, as root, but they will be asked for a password, but that password will persist for a period of time. The second one, however, should mean that when a person in the wheel group wants to run the reboot command, they are then asked for a password. So let's see what happens. So you can see that Freeman is in the wheel group. So we should be able to do as su to Zoltan. And then put in a password. Okay, so that worked. So let's get out of there. I'm Freeman again. So permit persist. Any other do as thing we do right this second shouldn't ask for a password. So let's do as su to db admin again. Yeah, doesn't ask for a password as expected. Now back in Freeman, what happens if we want to run the reboot command? Reboot, not permitted. Do as reboot. Ah, it actually asked for me for a password. I was kind of scared there because I actually didn't want to reboot this uh, machine just yet, but it works. Well, those are all the examples I wanted to go through. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. 
See you next time.